Beginning July 2024, sellers will no longer have to pay commissions for both their agent and the buyer's agent. So let's say today you're selling your house for $600,000. You'll pay about a six to 7% commission. So 6% of 600 is $36,000. That $36,000 is then split between your agent and the buyer's agent. Hence the reason why this is an antitrust lawsuit. $418 million realtor settlement has just happened where essentially because the seller's agent has been setting the price for the buyer's agent. So think about this. You know, if you're a buyer's agent and you're taking your client to see a group of homes, one group of homes, you're going to receive a commission of two and a half, three, four percent. Another group of homes, the commission is only paying one percent, maybe two percent. You're like, oh, well, no, we should go see these homes over here. And so on the flip side, as the seller, you're telling your client like, hey, um, we need to get a good commission so we can attract buyer's agents with their buyers. So you're like, no, we're, we're not gonna offer a 2% commission then we split it down the middle. And so this change to the realtor commissions, in my opinion, is a good thing. It's like, welcome to the 21st century where like many other services you may buy, it, there's a free market. And so in this video, we need to uncover, and so in this video, we need to uncover a few things like, will this change help the housing market? Will home buyers be able to afford to pay their realtor? If not, will they be able to finance that with their loan? How did one organization, the National Association of Realtors, how did they keep everyone in a complete chokehold for decades? And will realtors go broke? And so let's just go after the most annoying part of this lawsuit because the media continues to drive this misinformation. Home prices go, could go down now that the biggest group of real estate agents agree to lower commissions. First off, I'm triggered by the biggest group of real estate agents. Yeah, the group who essentially forces you to become a realtor because it seems like 99% of real estate brokers require you to be a realtor. And if you know my story, I'm a nationwide lender ready to lend in 48 states, but I began my real estate career as a real estate agent. And I still hold my real estate license because I do like referral deals, but I cannot stand the whole realtor designation because it costs $600 per year in realtor fees. Plus you have your MLS fees, which is the required online portal to buy and sell homes. There's fees for that. Then there's local boards. I mean, it's just ridiculous. And one would think that with all these fees that you would receive additional training, maybe additional representation if something happened, all you get is an ethics certificate and the R logo. And so, I had to talk about this because even this requirement that they have on realtors themselves, it is, it just shows their complete control over the industry. And so let me get back to the home prices now because home prices dropping because of lower commissions. This is why it is so important for you to think for yourself because the media will feed you hot garbage. Think about this, take a step back. How will a realtor's commission affect the price of your home? If the home next to you, if your neighbor just sold their home for $650,000, do you think because now that you're like, oh, well, I'm only gonna pay my realtor $5,000 instead of previous, previously I would have had to pay 40. Oh, but since I'm only paying five, oh, I'm going to sell my house for 610. What the f are you talking about nobody's gonna do that okay buying and selling a house is pure economics aka supply and demand because the biggest thing with the home prices is you determine the price because a price is what you are willing to pay so if you see a house that you absolutely love you don't want anyone else to get it yes of course you and your realtor want to look at the comparable sales in that area for the same style home that's sold in the last six months because you don't want to just be out here willy-nilly okay but if you have an indicator like okay homes are selling 600 but i don't want anyone else to, have to get this house so i'm going to pay them 625 you guys you're not overpaying the, for a house you're paying a house because you don't want anyone else, else to have it 
I say this a lot in my videos, so I don't mean to be redundant, but I have to drive the point of price. So the same logic is going to apply to how you pay your real estate agent. How much are you willing to pay for that service? And so what's gonna happen is a lot of agents are gonna quit because they are not going to be able to articulate or let alone deliver their value and justify their price. And it's a good thing that a lot of realtors are gonna quit because then the National Association of Realtors won't be able to continue generating a billion dollars in revenue every year. And if you would like to know more about this group, I did a whole video, you may wanna watch it here. But let's be real, you know, the one thing I love and hate about real estate is that the barriers of entry are so low. It's a good thing and a bad thing. And you see that across the board in realtor commissions already because a lot of realtors, like I said, have cannot articulate their value and they have they have reduced the industry a lot where they're taking scraps to get a deal. I've seen deals not close because instead of a realtor being a consultant or an advisor, they're just a yes man. They're like, oh, you wanna see 100 houses? Okay, you wanna get out of the contract at the 11th hour because you just don't like the house now? Okay, you wanna call me at 10 o'clock at night? Okay. <laughs> like the professionalism and standard has been out the door with a lot of real estate agents for quite some time. And now that they're going to have to sell their value, they're going to quit. Which my good agent is creating so much more space for you guys the good the agents who will be able to adapt and who can continue providing excellent service but 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 you know i've said a lot of good things there's going to be some changes in the i feel the gaps in housing because i'm not talking about the 500 600 on up type of home buyer okay because i do believe in certain price points you should be able to pay your real estate agent a couple of dollars okay i'm talking about the 200 300 000 price point who are going to be so affected they are going to be squeezed either the buyer is going to be squeezed or the real estate agent is going to be squeezed because think about this and I, I want to say initially because I do feel that there's going to be a great group of agents who will create a business model that makes sense. But think about this. If you're someone who's living paycheck to paycheck, you, you may only have enough money for your down payment or closing costs. Or even if you're getting down payment assistance, how are you going to pay your agent six, seven, eight thousand dollars $8,000? So my question is, you know, are sellers in that price point, are they gonna to have to start offering sellers concession, cash back at the closing table just to get a deal done? Or will buyer's agents have to concede and reduce their price a lot? Which means to have a comparable income, they're either gonna to have to do a ton of deals or they're gonna to have to quit. The last scenario is, of course you don't have to use a real estate agent. You know, I'm curious to see Will the industry turn more transactional? You know, because the first thing I think about is um, Rocket Lawyer. You know, some deals, if it's just a regular house, it may make sense to just do a flat fee and do be transactional. You know, but you know, if you're doing like an 18 unit building, you you probably want to get a commercial a commercial agent. <laughs> but for a regular house, I don't know. You know, and for the sellers, like I said, people aren't you know, gonna drop their home prices because of lower commissions. The price is the price. But maybe more homeowners will list their home because they won't have to, they'll have that extra 30, 40K because they won't be paying that in realtor commissions. But will that extra money in their pocket offset, outweigh the cost of a higher mortgage rate? And then where are they gonna go? There are no even, there's no homes to buy in a lot of markets. What do you guys think is going to happen with the housing market, which is a huge part of our economy? Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys need a mortgage, I'm here to lend in 48 states. And until next time.